there's a girl who wants to beat me up. She says, you think you so cute. Her name is Tamika Washington. She says, I'm fixing to kick your ass. I am light-skinned. That's what the other kids say. And I talk white. I learn that black people don't have blue eyes. I learn that I am black. I have blue eyes. I put all these new facts into the new girl. If we end up going too far, if we end up going to this place of where it becomes uh, obscene, gratuitous, pornographic, well, that would be my fondest wish for the evening. I hope we push it too far tonight. Dirty Laundry Lit is bringing together emerging and established writers on one stage. And they're reading pieces that are about secrets, indulgences, and lies. In one motion, I lifted his shirt over his head, let him tear my dress, pressed my body against his, and I crawled up him till my legs were tethered around his waist, my backside seated in his hands. His trousers fell away. I knew enough to wear baggy pants whenever Natasha reads. Oh my god. Yeah. This sort of literature, this dirty laundry uh, literature is trying to do is to get beyond what they say to what they mean. As the worshipers filed out, I started playing. I can outdance Jesus, so won't you dance with me? You can't shimmy and you can't shake with your feet nailed to a tree. I can outdance Jesus. Oh babe, I'm on a roll. He might be the king of the Jews, but I'm the king of soul. So, I mean, that's really why these stories that we're telling tonight are so important, because they get you to the heart of the matter, um, even if you get uncomfortable, you know? There's something really exciting about being uncomfortable in a situation when you have a story, because it's probably telling you something about yourself. I think Dirty Laundry Lit is uh, about all the things that everybody usually is thinking about and like really anxious about personally, but you never say in public if you have good self-control. But that first night, even though they were alone, he would not stop crying. His entire body bucked with misery, despite the fact that she cradled him in her lap, felt him shake with frustration. She reached up, unfastened her top button. She let the front of her nightgown fall open. She held him in the vicinity of her heart and felt a strong tug as he sucked in her nipple. I think truth and art is the most important aspect. It's what makes art art. And I don't think there should be any areas necessarily that are taboo or that we don't talk about. But what we're trying to do with Dirty Laundry is to be honest about it and pull us together rather than push us apart.